Now again, going back to the beginning, we do have an important choice this year, and I want to put my business background with IBM up against municipal experience, and that's the choice that we have. As we've talked about, I have a long career with IBM where I have been a facilitator, and I do have political skills because you aren't successful in a company such as IBM without some semblance of political skills and background. So what I've done with our customers in the last 20 years that I've worked with IBM is help enable them to be more efficient in their operations, to better serve their customers at the same time. Because if you don't do that in the real world, those customers are going to take that business and go elsewhere. And we know that as customers as well. If you encounter a business that doesn't give you good value for your dollars, doesn't provide you with excellent service, you're going to be glad to vote with your dollars and take that elsewhere. And that analogy is very apropos to what the state government has not done for us. It's the state government that sits at the foot of Beacon Hill to create a competitive environment because we do indeed compete with other states in the region, around the country, even other nations around the world, for the very businesses, students, employees, investors, to make a viable economy here in Massachusetts. And because of things like the fact that we've lost 300,000 residents to other states, and because there are 2.2 million natives of Massachusetts that now live elsewhere, it's clear that they've been failing us. And your choice again comes down to, if Beacon Hill is clearly broken, and I don't think there was any debate about that tonight, what is your choice? Are you going to continue in the definition of insanity with Ben Franklin, continue to send the same type of people up to Beacon Hill and expect different results, or send someone with experience in the real world of business with a dedication to go represent your best interest over the special interest up to Beacon Hill. I do work for IBM. I, my priorities will be that my family is first, my state legislative work for you is second, and then I have an arrangement where I will cut back hours, have flexible work at IBM, so I don't need my opponent telling you that I'm not going to be able to work on your behalf up in the State House. Again, thank you for coming out tonight, and I look forward to earning your votes in November. Thank you.
And David, thank you to you for volunteering to moderate.